Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are gonna be testing out the vamp stamp. You guys have asked about this over and over and over, and it was hard to get a hold of. This is a new product that promises the perfect wing every single time anybody can do this, a beginner. Uh, someone who just wants to tighten up their routine and doesn't want to spend all the time in the world doing a winged liner. I know that for me, I'm always looking for something to make that part of my makeup routine easier because a lot of the time I get to liner and I'm just like, forget it. I don't even want to go there. I just want to share with you guys, even for me, even someone who has worked you know, freelance doing makeup, winged liner always makes me take a pause and I have to kind of like take a deep breath and focus and steady my hand. And you know, I can do a really good job, a better job actually on other people, but doing winged liner on myself, I have to admit, it's not my favorite thing in the world. It's really hard for me because I have slightly hooded eyes and then my lid actually wants to go downward on this corner. So either it's gonna look great or it's gonna look awful and I just kind of have to roll with it. So when I see stamper products like this, I get super curious and I am wondering if this is going to work out. I tried a similar product that had a shorter handle and actually stamped the lid in the past and that did not work out. So this has got me excited and nervous all at the same time. This is what the actual stamper looks like. It just actually looks like a rubber like craft stamp and it even feels kind of squishy like that. So it's not hard at all. You have a little thing that says, you know, which eye you are stamping. And the idea is to coat this with whatever you are going to use as your liner. And then you just match it up to your eye and I guess just and then you are vamp stamped. Why do I think that sounds like tramp stamp? Focus. Er, it comes in two sizes, a medium and a large. I'm waiting for the small one to drop so that I can purchase that because um, I think these are both still a little bit big for me. If I'm thinking of like an everyday liner situation, I would like it to be just a tiny bit smaller, but I have heard that they are creating that. So for now we have a large and a medium. So this is what the box looks like. It does show you on one side kind of a little bit of an instructional thing, but I think you probably wanna watch a tutorial online or watch me about to use it. Um, if I do a good job explaining it, you know, yay me. All right, so you get the vamp stamp in here. This sucker's 25 bucks. That's expensive. I think that's actually really, really expensive. I know a lot of the stampers that I have tried in the past were only like $10. Granted, they were horrible, so it was a waste of money regardless of the price. Um, this could work. We're about to find out. You can purchase separately the Vamp Stamp ink. This is called the Vortex Black Eyeliner Ink and you do get a brush with it. Not a fan of the brush. I've kind of been playing around with it a little bit and it's very frayed. So I'm actually not gonna use this brush, but I am gonna try out the ink. It comes in a cushioned container where you are going to press the Vamp Stamp in here. Let's just kind of do that. I'll take the large one to kind of show you guys. Three, two, one, okay. That's so weird. It's like a little sponge in there. And then that's the vamp stamp stamped. And then let's just kind of see. Oh, uh, okay. Let's do this. Do we remember the time that I tried press on eyeshadow and I had places to be? I kind of feel the same way right now. I feel like, ah, oh, shoot, I have to go like here, there, everywhere today. And let's just hope this works out. I'm gonna take the medium vamp stamp and I'm gonna start on my left eye and I'm going to make sure that I'm using the correct shape. It has a little L there and I'm going to just dip it in this guy. Make sure it's evenly coated. So clearly because this only gets the edge of your eye, you are gonna have to fill in the lid as far as like the liner on your lid. I'm going to match this up to the edge of my eye and You guys, that's actually not half bad. I feel like I need to fill in a little bit. That gives you like a nice guide. Okay, so let's fill in just a little bit. I'm gonna take a different brush because I'm not the biggest fan of the size of this angled brush. I feel like I need a tinier, more precise brush to really fill in and make everything look super, super sharp. That's just me, I want it to be perfect. So I'm gonna take this brush right here from Gorgeous Cosmetics. It's the 012 brush and fill in the gaps right here and then drag a little bit of the color onto the lid. 
and I am going to continue using this Vamp Stamp ink. This is $20. I think that might be a little high in price. You can use any of your own inks at home, be it a gel liner, be it a felt tip pen, and then you would color the edge. I am going to try that on the other eye, so we'll see if it works just as well with a different formula. I think it will. Uh, yeah, let's just go in and fill in the gaps. It always feels like it's 5,000 times harder to apply liner on camera because in real life, the way that I fill in my liner, I do like a lot of this and a lot of this. Like I'm doing weird yoga poses and like getting my liner like this and I'm trying to stay in frame for you guys. So keep that in mind. All right, so for a first time go at it, I wish I hadn't put the lower portion so low. I would have angled it a little bit differently. So I am gonna clean that up just a tiny little bit with a makeup wipe. You could clean this up with a Q-tip and a little eye cream, just whatever is best for you. But I have this on hand right here. So I'm just gonna kinda do just a little bit of that. I feel like this gives you a nice guide more than anything. So if you have a hard time with getting a winged liner and like getting it that dramatic and outside of your eye, I think this is really cool. I like it. There's a little bit of noise outside. We're gonna ignore that. I'm gonna take my Sicily felt tip liner and coat the top of this side of the vamp stamp and go on in. Oh my God, now there's, there's like helicopter. Ha. The vamp stamp getting you the perfect wing eyeliner look even if there are so many distractions. I'm really sorry, I'm super sarcastic and in like a really sarcastic mood today. I don't know where it's coming from. I am just like, my dry humor is just really out in front and taking over and I'm just letting it happen. So, okay. I feel like you wanna like freshly coat things and go in like right away before it dries, otherwise it's not gonna work. So let's try this side with like a super expensive eyeliner. Shall we make sure I'm angling it the same way? So I just used the wrong one on this eye. We can clearly see that is an entirely different wing situation i actually kind of like it i thought it was like totally not wearable but if you put on a pair of falsies and like just rock this really dramatic wing i kind of like it so i'm going to fill these in and do i try to match them up i'm not sure i can't believe i just did that are you kidding me right now all right so here we are i have the large on this side i have the medium on this side. And what I will say is that this is more of a guide to get you to fill in and have that right precise angle. It gives you a lot to work with, but it's not just gonna be like a stamp and you're done. So do keep that in mind. And I think actually that mistake may have been a blessing so that you guys could see the large versus the medium. If you were wondering which one to order, the large is much larger in shape, but there's something about it that I kind of like. I never wear my eyeliner like this intense ever, 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 but I don't know. It's like bringing out this alter ego in me. I just want to like put on more highlight and a really dramatic pair of lashes and be even more sassy. So this is kind of fun. I do like it. This is like daytime, sweet, nice Tati, and this is like, bam. So I'm gonna put on my mascara and then we will regroup. I'm gonna zoom you back out and we'll talk just a little bit more proing and conning this crazy new invention. You guys, I have a bunch of things to say about this product. I'm just gonna throw it out there. You can use so many different liquids. Anything you have on hand, you will be able to coat this edge with any of your products. So you could do like a purple or navy or even a bright, you know, just any liquid that you have, you could easily use the vamp stamp. So I don't think it's necessary to order both. I'm just gonna just give you all of my real thoughts. This itself, I actually think is really, really cool. I love the idea that it gives you a guide. It does make it easy to fill in and be a little more exaggerated with your liner. To do this freehand is a bit tricky. I like that you can kind of flick this upward and get that nice dramatic feel with a wing where sometimes I don't go out far enough because I'm tilting my head. I can't see exactly what I'm doing. And I like this tool. It does make it easier. Now, it's more like training wheels for your liner because it's not gonna do the whole shebang for you. You still have to take an angled brush and fill 
fill everything in on the lid, sharpen up the edge. I did clean up a little bit underneath here with some concealer, but as far as the end result, I really like it. Do we notice that I'm like giving you like the sassy side of my face? I'm like, and I love this. And look at my dramatic liner. Um, which side do you guys like better? Daytime Tati or Sassy Tati? I like them both. I'm gonna continue playing around with these. I'll probably pop them in a tutorial with some kind of a different wilder type of a look, maybe put glitter on the top. I don't know, something a little more interesting. But my point is I definitely will keep using these. They're 25 bucks. I think it's a really, really cool invention. And just side note, I was doing my homework and the woman who came up with this idea is the original inventor of the beauty blender. She actually took a sponge on set, working as a makeup artist, cut off the edges, and it created that teardrop shape that is super famous now. I can't go a day without mine. So that also got me really intrigued that this wasn't just like a hokey pokey, kind of weird product to try, that there actually was a makeup artist behind it. And I love the idea of it. Also, it said that she had a spinal injury and created this tool, not just for people that want a shortcut with their liner, because this does make it faster, but for people that have any type of nerve damage in their hand. She has no sensation in her right hand, so she actually had to reteach herself how to do makeup with her left hand. She wanted to create a tool that someone that has a shaky hand, someone that has nerve issues, that has loss of sensation in a few fingers, or whatever the situation might be, or maybe you're just a beginner just trying out makeup for the first time this is something that makes it very very easy it's pretty goof proof i would recommend trying this for the first time without a full face of makeup i actually wish that i had done that because i did clean up a little bit and i kind of wish that i could have just played around and found the perfect angle for my eye shape because I don't think this is exactly it. I think I'll try again and lift it up a little more and kind of try to find that perfect edge that really elevates my eye look and is what I'm after in my mind, but this is pretty close. And this side right here, I actually, I love this little baby wing. I think it's really cute. I love it. It made it super easy. I don't have too many bad things to say about this product. Um, let's see how easy it is to clean before I knock everything over. So you can just kind of wipe off the tip, I guess, with a makeup wipe. Yeah, that was pretty quick. Nice and clean. As always, feel free to let me know in the comment section below what you think I should try next. If there is another item out there that you think I should put to the test, I kind of can't take myself seriously right now. I keep kind of grabbing a glance and I see like one liner that's like crazy, but awesome. And the other one is not matching up. So I kind of, I got to go fix this and get back to my day. All right, anyway. Thank you for hanging out with me. You guys know I love you so much. If you enjoyed me testing out this product and you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, share the video, leave those comments. It all helps out and I love hearing from you guys. So this one is Tachi approved. I'm gonna try it again tomorrow and I will put it in a tutorial soon. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. All right, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.